Well, we're here in Vegas. We finally made it. We're staying here at the South Point in the garage where they hold gnarly rodeos. I had no idea about this place. But we're in the garage below ground. It's freaking all air conditioned and it is just absolutely killer. So let me show you around. So John's up there just fueling the in-bed tank. Jeff's up there with the VP. Already ran through these two tanks of VP. And we're just fueling the cars for the uh, race. It's not a game, it's a red Alright guys, we are live here at the 2020 Best in the Desert Vegas Torino Race. We're here at the start line right now. It is about 110 degrees and it is cooking out here. Let's take a look around real quick. Everyone's setting up, everyone getting ready. Rugged radios, tuning in people's radios, everyone feeling at the gas station. Damn near close to Area 51. Oh, Johnny boy, say hello. hello. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, let's check it out. So this trip I'll be riding in Brutus, getting ready uh, for the race, so we'll be chasing. We have a busy schedule, and I'll show you guys that schedule. Chase, uh, that's Razor Girl, Chase 2, Chase 1, sitting back here. Busy, busy, but check it out. Area 51 back here behind the mountains. Some uh, crazy stuff here. It is just popping off right now. Crazy busy. You can see the dust out here from the race trucks starting. Helicopters are in the air. Good times. So because of COVID, they're only allowing the race cars to go to the start. So we're not even allowed to record the start whatsoever, but we're gonna load the cars here. Chase trucks can't even go in there. They gotta drive the cars from here to the start. I don't even know where it's at because they're not letting us in, but uh, they're just being really strict so that they're not breaking any rules, any freaking laws, and so they can continue to do this stuff. So, here it is. Oh. All right, gonna top off the vehicles before uh, you all race. So we got the gravity fed fuel system, comes down into there. Right into the car, super easy. Justin will be uh, the air brake dude, the bleeder. Probably only take a few gallons. <laughs> Gotta cool off before the race. 110 degrees out here. So Wayne's off the line at 11.25. We are right at the start line. So he's doing probably 60, 70 miles an hour. We're doing all 60 in Brutus, huh, David? Oh, man. We got to hurry up and get to the first pit set up. Hopefully he doesn't race us and beat us there. But we're kind of hoping he does beat us through there. Because that means he's going a lot faster. So here's kind of the race course. We're bumping down the road in Big Brutus. So... Pit one is race mile 30. And that'll be just a visual for us, for him. Hopefully he'll just blow right through there. He'll blow through two, and then we'll fuel him at uh, three, which is race mile 130. And then we got our pit book here. Here's our pit book. And this is everything it takes to go to these races, to race two cars, all these people. So that's what David and I are in, is in uh, Brutus, Wayne's Chase 2. And then there's just this huge book. We'll rifle through that thing later. But we got the chase trucks in front of us and we're red rocking to pit one. All right, so pit one was seconds long stop. They're having overheating issues. It's over hundred degrees out here. The dust is thick. There's zero wind. They're battling through the gnarliest dust. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. 
But uh, we just gave them some ice water, a gallon of ice water to spray, sp to spray on the radiator because the radiator's just getting caked with this silt out here. So pit one, overheating, son of a gun. All right, so we're pulling into pit two, which is race mile 82, race mile 82. Wayne is through about race mile 55, 60 ish right now. So we're gonna set up for pit two. Brutus is the only vehicle gonna be at pit two. So David and I are gonna be our, uh, the only ones here. So hopefully all goes well. A couple race cars coming through. So we got a 10 car coming through the pits right now. It's a 1086, pretty freaking cool. And here's pit row for pit two. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so Wayne is through pit two. He had to double back around. Uh, the front driver tire fell off the car. The rear tires are missing lug nuts. So we tightened them all before the race, but these things are just spinning off left and right. So we had to add three lug nuts to the car and to put on a rear tire on the chase rack or on the rear uh, spare tire rack. Uh, he's back on the road. We did lose a couple positions on that. I think like two positions, unfortunately, but knowing Wayne, he's gonna drive his ass off and he'll get those two spots back and then some. So we're headed to pit three with chase one, we're chase two, and that's where we're gonna do fueling. So I'll try to set the phone up so we can record as much as we possibly can, but boy, it's freaking asses and elbows when these cars pull into the pit. So that's about an uh, update for pit two. All right, pit three.
in his pit nine. Uh, we gave him water, we gave him some almond butter bars, and now we are en route to pit 13, which is about 160 miles north. So we got 160 miles to go uh, before our next pit. So pit one or chase one is gonna be crazy busy, but check out this weather. stuck with us through this video long freaking day we're at race mile all right what mile are we at right now david uh, i don't know you get the map oh let's take a look at the map but we are at pit 13 bitch and storm came through here poured out here thunder lightning and there's no dust so let's take a look at the map real quick all right so we started way down here in vegas worked our way up to the top we have to flip the map over and that's what we've been doing there was that lake so we went around that left side the course went to that right side and now we are at pit 13 way up here damn near near reno so that's where we are at last time we checked he was in third but that was like an hour ago there he goes. Hey, that's good. Good deal. All right, you guys. 8:35 at night. These guys took off so early in the morning, and this dude's still motoing through. Ain't gonna give up. Just still pitch black out here, motoing. Freaking ba, dude. And he's back off. So he said lightning hitting all around him. Wind just throwing dirt in his face. Dude, 8.40 at night now. Pretty incredible. The ninjinuity of chase racks. So bitch. You built this one? Really? All right, here comes a 6100 truck. Good looking truck. Yeah. 
Well, it's five o'clock in the morning. Time to hit the uh, airport, fly home to San Diego. It was a great trip. I hope you guys liked it. I couldn't get much of the ending because there was chaos. Wayne's car broke down one mile before the uh, finish. Christian finished third. We're all at the old Nugget here in Reno. Cars are freaking muddy, check them out. So there's the race cars and everything parked. And ready to go home to San Diego. Those boys got about a 12 to 14 hour drive home we got a couple hour flight home so we got to catch it again i hope you guys liked it subscribe to it and uh, leave some comments down below what you guys think and we'll see you on the next one